Sussex Bowlers put their side on top in Bristol. With three promotion places up for grab in Division 2, the final few rounds of the Specsavers County Championship season are set to be packed with close-fought contests. Gloucestershire are well-placed, sitting in second place, 30 points ahead of their opponent Sussex. The South Coast side haven't given up hope of finishing in the top three, third place Northants just 16 points ahead of them. Sussex look to put their hosts under pressure with the ball, taking the opportunity to field first under the clouds in Bristol. And with conditions favouring bowling, the start was understandably cagey, as Chris Dent and James Bracey look to play themselves in. Haynes, though, would find the breakthrough the visitors had been looking for. Dent caught a first slip by Jordan to depart for seven. Roderick followed, unable to score before David Visa took the top of his off stump. Bracey, meanwhile, was doggedly resisting one of Division 2's most potent attacks. He brought up his half-century as he hit Rawlings into the onside for his seventh boundary of the day. He was unbeaten at lunch, the home side going into the interval at 86 for two. The experienced Chris Jordan would finally bring an end to Bracey's innings, dislodged for 61 as he edged through to Captain Ben Brown. Smith would follow in the same fashion, albeit for 61 runs fewer than his colleague. George Garton followed suit, a short ball extracting an edge from Hammond, Rawlins making no mistake with the catch in the gully. Charlesworth and Higgins added some resistance to the second session, the side beginning to approach 150. But the dangerous all-rounder would fall to Visa, an edge held well by Salt at second slip. As the clouds darkened over Bristol, Gloucestershire reached T at 165 for 6. Nine balls into the evening session and Sussex had another, Jordan the man to remove Charlesworth. Ollie Robinson struck, Jack Taylor his first wicket of the match. Will Beer then had Matt Taylor bowled for four. David Payne and Shannon Gabriel would stick together long enough to see Gloucestershire to 200 before the West Indies International fell, caught by Visa off the bowling of Garton. Sussex got their own innings up and running in imperious fashion, Salt and Wells both batting in confident form, the former going at the home bowlers, while the latter soaked up pressure at the other end. Salt took a liking to Gabriel, and in the days penultimate over, plundered 16 runs with four consecutive boundaries, reaching 50 in the process. They'd reached the close of play at 73 for naught. Sussex by far the happier of the two sides, as they go into day two in control.